Hi, I'm Caroline Bowman. And I'm Austin Colby. And we're talking to Playbill about Disney's Frozen North American Tour. I didn't know they did that anymore. And there's two nice ladies helping me. So 18 months ago, we were in Portland in, that was March of 2020, right? Mm -hmm. 18 months ago, whew, feels like a lifetime ago. So we had just done our first weekend in Portland. We did a five show weekend and we got into the second week and we did two shows that week and shut down in Portland. Actually, I didn't do those two shows because I was very sick. And we heard little like grumblings of something might be happening, but obviously none of us ever thought it would be <laughs> to this extreme. Mm -hmm. We love this show with all of our hearts. And I know for me personally, this is one of the greatest experiences of my career. And I feel like at that moment on the tour, we were just starting to kind of get our groove mm -hmm. and to have it just like the rug pulled out from under us so abruptly. At first it was confusing and um, exciting to have a little break. You know, I was like two weeks off, great. We'll sound fantastic <laughs> after two weeks. And then once it started to set in that it, it was longer than that, I really felt quite lost. It was devastating. We do a good job of trying to stay positive and find um, the light in things and we had each other. And so that's the greatest blessing. But I know that there were just days when I would turn to him and I was like, just so sad. It just was really sad. <laughs> you know, we, we work really hard in this industry to be ready when opportunity presents itself. And so in a sense that, that it really becomes, I don't think it defines us. We are like, we are much more than just actors but it does hold a huge piece in our heart because it is our passion. And so to, to lose that, to lose um, that, that piece of our happiness um, was a challenge. Um, and it also created a little bit of perspective to, to remember that a lot of there's, bit of so, perspective. there's so much more joy that we can discover. Um, but we are so, well, after discovering that we are so thrilled to have audiences back and have our jobs back and um, we're holding on to it really tight. It's like every moment is so precious and we feel that on stage and I know the audience feels that. I can feel them. They want to be here just as much as we do, maybe more than ever, which is like so what a gift to be in theater right now and mm -hmm. be doing this right now. I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's like just we're so grateful. <laughs> I'm a monster, and it's true. There's only one thing you're going to do. But before I say to I, I'll do all that I can to die. When we got married, we, we signed up to, to be life partners and then um, to have a potential of, to work together um, with the auditions. We got really excited about that. More, um, more time together. And then we also had to prepare for the potential disappointment oh, yeah. of us not getting it, but we did get it. And um, so that was great. And then we were hitting our stride, loving tour, and then exploring a pandemic together, um, knowing that we are both mourning what we, what we temporarily lost. And now together celebrating what we're, we're getting back and um, being a teammate, both on and off stage. I wish more people could have seen what it was like just walking in the room and seeing everyone, um, you know, knowing that we're all vaccinated and we all had a negative COVID test, mm -hmm. but still with masks on, big hugs, um, you know, trying trying to catch up how how somebody else's 18 months have been. And, and it's, it's too much to unpack. Uh, but fortunately, our company the first day had us um, circle up and say who we are, 
reintroduce ourselves and also say where we're coming from, where our feelings lie in that moment, but to hear about people's insecurities and um, confidence, um, low confidence and uh, trauma and sadness and fear and all that. And then to, at the end of the week, hear those same people talk about the boost that they received from each other. That's what we were missing. We were missing each other. I know, so I said this in the circle, um, but two weeks before we started rehearsals, I told Austin, I said, I'm gonna go down into my parents' basement because we were living with my parents for the last 18 months. <laughs> Thank you, mom and dad. I went, I decided that I was gonna start running the show and like try to get it back in my bones, try to like, you know, start flexing my muscle, my vocal cords and my muscles again. And I was in the basement and I was trying to like run my lines and also run my songs. And I was so blocked and I tried it every single day. And I went to Austin I don't have it anymore. It's gone. Like, I, I don't believe that I had, like, I just had no confidence in myself. I was so nervous. And what's challenging as her partner is understanding that those feelings are completely valid and that what she's going through is so real. Meanwhile, knowing to myself, she's got this. Like, <laughs> she's gonna be fine. And she is, but you... she's glorious. But, oh. but, but acknowledging, acknowledging okay. that somebody's gonna be feeling something and it doesn't matter what your uh, view of it is. Um, I think that's a big takeaway from how I interact with people is, is, is really hearing about their experience from their point of view and understanding that I'm not gonna be able to feel that, but I can be here to, here to listen. And, and, um, and Caroline's been great to listen to me as well. Adding on to what Austin said earlier was we needed, I needed the room. I needed my community, I needed this cast, I needed this company to do my job. I can't do it without him or any of them. We need each other. COVID is still very real. That is at the forefront of our thoughts a lot of the time. I know we've always thought about our health and we've always been, Austin and I are very, have always been very careful and um, drink a lot of water, get a lot of sleep, and take those vitamins. But then on top of that, we are getting tested every day. So we've been very lucky, especially working for Disney. They're really protective of us. We feel very safe at work. We have kids in the show and we're really, we're really careful around them knowing that they are um, hopefully on the verge of getting their vaccine. Um, but there's a, lo a lot more to, to juggle to put up a production, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it to be doing what we're doing. I feel like I've never been so present in my life, mm. which is, can be a good thing and a bad thing. My emotions, especially right when we were opening, were just on the edge of, like I'm always on the tipping point. <laughs> so I had to reel that in a little bit because, or else Elsa would just be an emotional mess the whole time and she's supposed to conceal not feel. <laughs> so that was, it doesn't really work. <laughs> but I do feel like, again, that's like, such a gift to be so present. I'm never gonna forget this for my whole life. I don't think anybody will. Hearing the mumbles in the audience and like I just had chills, like feeling that again. It's it's like nothing else. I'll never forget that that first performance back. Thank you for watching and thank you Playbill for having us. And make sure to catch Frozen the Musical in a city near you. <laughs>